Hello Trinity fans and welcome back to the Trinity Online channel. Now for today's guide is gonna be a neat trick for those of you who are learning how to cook and I hope this video will help you guys out. I do upload weekly guides for you guys so be sure to check out my website for all the guides as well as subscribe to this channel for more. Now the first thing you want to do is of course to have a cooking character and a horse to do this trick. So you guys are wondering what does a horse have to do with cooking. So let me just show you guys. Now I'm at outside of the cookhouse and I want to push my character into the cookhouse. So I'll just push my horse like this and then press R. When I do this and press R, I will dismount from my horse and my horse is basically now within the cookhouse. Now let us look at the formula of cooking beer, let's say for example. So most of the new players know for cooking beer you need 5 potatoes two leavening agent, one sugar, and six mineral water. So if we were to multiply everything by 10,000, it would mean that we will be buying 50,000 potatoes, 20,000 agents, 10,000 sugar, and 60,000 water. Now, water is one of the most heavyweight items in the game, and if you just start off by putting everything in the inventory of your character based on all this quantity, you won't be able to make it because it will be too heavy to even carry the rest of the items. So to counter the weight issue and be able to carry a lot of items, we are going to get the help of our horse. Now, even though you know what I'm about to do, do not stop this video because I'm going to show you the stacking trick which you will be able to use, let's say, for example, in your grinding. All right, you can stack trash loot. And at the same time, I'm going to show you guys for new players, how do you get a free flow of ingredients as well? So be sure to watch the end of this video. All right, so moving on, what we want to do is we want to stack water okay we talk to this NPC which is David Finto we go to the shop option now we can go and scroll down to go to mineral water let's say you are buying multiples of 10,000 for example you just get 10,000 over here it's gonna be a bit of weight that is appearing on the right side over here so you can buy multiples of up to in total you need 60,000 so I'm just gonna get another 50,000 okay you see the weight is already fulfilling half of it I haven't even get my sugar my leavening agent and my potato so what we are gonna do here is that we're gonna move to our horse Okay, we're gonna press F6, F6 for the inventory. Now, our horse has very limited weight, okay? But one trick that all the grinders do in this game is that we tend to do stacking. Like for example, we stack 1,000 of the items in and you will see that the horse weight is increasing. Now we stack 10,000 in and you see that the horse is almost overweight. If I stack another 5,000 in, the horse is basically 160 out of 139. Is overweight already. So if you try to stack another 5,000 on top, it may still work to some extent, but later on it will get stuck. If it gets stuck and you can't stack anymore, all you need to do is remove everything back to your character inventory and then again try to go max quantity and stack it in. Okay, So this way is the process of stacking items on the horse. When you're grinding, you're doing trash loot, you can also use this method. If you have another 60,000 in your inventory, then what you do is take out everything, overload your character and then you have 120,000 stack all on the horse again. This is how you rapidly stack your mount. Okay, so this is one trick for you guys grinders and also for those who are going to use this trick for cooking. The next thing I'm going to do is go back to the NPC again. As promised, now I have to buy 10,000 sugar which I can keep it on my character inventory because sugar is not very heavy. Leavening agent, I'm going to buy 20,000 of it because we're doing cooking in multiples of 10,000 items one shot. Now, for the potato, there is no need to buy potato, okay? If you're going to watch this guide on the screen right now, which is my worker empire guide, you will be able to set up a free flow of potatoes without any problem, okay? You don't even need to spend a single silver. And if you have all the potatoes gathered by your workers in your storage, all you need to do right now is just go to your mate, all right? You want to open the storage mate, which you have all the potatoes over here. Each time, you can take out 1,000 of it. So I'm going to remotely collect it from the uh, storage mate like this. So 10,000, okay? 
and then another ten thousand, another ten thousand, another ten thousand, another ten thousand. So I got five thousand right now. That's more than enough. Next thing I want to do is I will ride on this horse. I need to exit. Of course, you can use the call horse function. But I'm just gonna basically pretend that you do not know the call horse function for the time being, okay? So I'm just gonna ride back. Even if the horse, okay, even if the horse is overloaded, it's still gonna move substantially fast enough for you to move around without a problem. So we're just gonna move it to the house. I actually bought this house, Valia 3-1, because it's very near the cook house and it's very cheap in the CP cost. So I'm just gonna let it start running in and then I'm gonna press R to try to dismount the horse, okay? So that you walk in by itself. So once the horse is inside here, all I need to do is press F6, claim about 6,000 of this mineral water. Of course, it will load my inventory, but it won't go to full weight. And I can now start cooking, okay? I can now start cooking my beer. So I select my beer, I select my ingredient, which is the second formula with the potato itself and I start my batch cooking and maximum quantity check on and I start cooking. So this is how you can have a huge stack of items. Okay, so eventually in my inventory, I'm going to run out of my 6,000 mineral water. I'm also at the same time going to run out of my potatoes, which is also being used at the same time. Okay, the potatoes over here and the mineral water over here. So once I run out, let's say for example, okay, just to give you a quick example, I'm gonna waste this. I'm gonna run out of mineral water by discarding it. I'm gonna run out of potato again by discarding it. Okay, I'm just gonna sacrifice all this material for this video itself. So what happens when I run out? You guys have to take note of this. You still have almost 20 to 19K of leavening agent. You still got 9,000 over sugar. So again, what you lack of is mineral water, the heaviest item. So you go to your horse, again, go to F6, and just take out 6,000. Okay, so because we are cooking in multiples of 1,000. Just take out 6,000 mineral water and you don't have to leave your residence, okay? There's no need to leave your residence for the potato because you can summon your mate, open storage, okay? And once you open the storage, you can take potatoes directly from the remote storage of the mate. So all you need to do is just take another 5,000 potato. And again, you can now select beer, select the formula, click batch cooking, click yes, and continue cooking another 1,000 batch. You will repeat this 10 times for the max 10,000 chances of cooking, proccing everything that you want, create or whatever that you want to do, okay? So this is one way of instead of doing 1,000 and having to go to the cookhouse, having to go to the storage, now you don't have to do it. You can do 10 rounds of 1,000 all in your residence without even taking a step out of your residence. And of course, as you cook and cook, you will probably gain a few items such as beer, all right? and then you also gain items such as cold draft beer. These items will also increase the weight storage on your character. So same thing if you don't want to step out of the unit of your residence, all you need to do is use your remote mate or your uh, central market mate and then throw all this item remotely to the central market or to the storage. I hope this guide has helped you. Um, be sure to watch the worker empire guide which is on the screen right now. Okay, I'll leave a postcard at the end of this video so you can click on it and instantly watch it. Be sure to check out my website and join my discord server as well because you can ask questions over there. It's not just my guild discord, it is also a community discord to help you guys with the game question. If you're in Southeast Asia, you're welcome to join my guild in the Southeast Asia PC and Steam platform. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, like, subscribe, and drop me a comment as well. Bye-bye!